Welcome along to Seddon Fields here in Auckland for this semi-final of the New Zealand Football Foundation at Cape Shepherd Cup. Today we're going to get to see the home side, Western Springs host Coastal Spirit from Canterbury. And it's looking like a lovely day. Overcast, 14 degrees. And of course, these artificial pitches, the surface will be outstanding so if we ever we look at our visiting side vastly experienced side this one the coastal spirit girls have been going great down in the southern leagues over the last few years have won the new world mainland premiership five years in a row now they're in the south island uh, women's league and it's they're currently second we have got some players there like Una Foyle, Rebecca Wilson, Whitney Hepburn, Mel Cameron, Brittany Lee, all over 100 caps. Lauren Dabner also. So, and of course, Alyssa Wynnum, who is uh, on an out off season for the Phoenix. She'll be back there this coming summer. She's joined her old club at two for these for this time. So she'll be one to watch out for in the middle of the midfield, I'd imagine. Coach Juan Chang, he's been uh, helping out the under-20s Samoan team recently. And our home side, well, there's a good-looking, plenty of experience in this side too. Uh, Lily Jarvis will be, Jervis will be captaining. She's had plenty of experience in National League football with uh, the Northern Lights. As has Jess Innes. And Lara Colpi is another player there that has played some in New Zealand football, went to the World Cup with the under 17s, just like Alyssa Wynnum did. So she'll be a, a great player to uh, keep an eye on here today. And Caleb Ward is the uh, interim coach at the moment. Uh, the club making a some coaching changes and Maya Vink will be in charge there as of next week. So she's currently assisting today. In the middle, our uh, referees have uh, Lindsay Robinson, who will be in charge of this game, assisted by Kirsty Whitling, Charlie Tseng, and fourth official is Samuel Clement. Well, we've been sport rotten with the some great quality women's football of recent times with this World Cup going on. And, uh, the Cape Shepherd will be another great one here today. The other game on the other side of Auckland, on the eastern suburbs, we have uh, eastern suburbs hosting Wellington United. So... These two games both kicking off at the same time. If you've got a split screen, you might be able to take in both. But we'll be keeping an eye on it as well. Looks to be a, a few camera phones out there, taking in the occasion. Ready for these two sides to come onto the pitch. In the lead in to this occasion, the uh, Coastal Spirit in round one got up over University of Canterbury, 1 0. Second round win against their foes, Kashmir Technical. Had to go to extra time that one. It was 2 all, and they won the extra time 4 2. Round three had it, uh, more of a convincing result against Nelson Suburbs, 6 0. In their quarter-final, they overcame Dunedin City 1-0. And in the hoops here today, the home side, Western Springs, they entered the competition in round two, had a 12-0 win over Lakes. 
Round three saw them defeat Auckland United 3 0. The quarter final win came against Defensibles 3 1. And uh, it was uh, last year, it was uh, Western Springs only got to round two of this competition. So they have uh, gone a lot better this year. See. And look to get through to the final and Coastal Spirit. Well, they lost in round three last year, but um, the year before they lost in the semi final against Hamilton Wanderers. So, a few people, a few players here that have actually had their hands on the Kate Shepherd Cup in the Coastal Spirit lineup. We have Whitney Hepburn. Mel Cameron and Lauren Dabner have all tasted Kate Shepherd Cup success. And so is Jess Ennis, who is in the Western Springs team. So the wind out here, just a light breeze. Shouldn't really affect the game too much. We may see a wee bit of rain if there's a forecast around the place, but... Um, all good at this stage. It's going to be great to see how the Coastal Spirit team will be really tested here today against a pretty informed Western Springs side. No, they definitely have it in their in their wheelhouse, but um, this is a great test of the either ends of New Zealand coming together. This is a great part of this cup football competition. Coastal Spirit sitting currently second in the South Island League, whereas uh, the Western Spring squad uh, sitting third. They've already qualified for the National League. Uh, stage of the competition which will be happening upcoming over the term four coastal spirit of course though we, a few of their players will uh, represent the pride no doubt mm -hmm. Down the line they go. Wynnum pouncing on Taitimu. It's the first bit of go forward for Coastal Spirit. Mel Cameron out wide on the left. Supported by Wynnum. Cameron's going to go our own way. Just dispossessed. Bound to be some end-to-end -end action here today. Cup football always brings a bit of nerves into the equation. And quite often the pace is quite ferocious. So well left there from Xanthi Jane. And Una Foyle will have her first touch with a goal kick. Elena Firth. Now to Rebecca Wilson down the line. Looking for Dasha Kogan. Kogan. And just a we stoppage and play here. Wilson with a throw. Wynnum dispossessing and returning back to Wilson. A strong play in there from Allegers. A little turn away there from uh, Meg Simpson. Delivers the ball down the line, but it's 
Well defended in the end there from Western Springs. Ball kids doing a great job there. Simpson into Dabner. Back all the way to Jane. Over to Firth. Firth driving forward. Pass to Wynnum. Into Cameron. Out wide to Nicholson. Roll one two with Wynnum, but doesn't connect. Must be a bit of a challenge here for uh, Wynnum, who's not playing every week for Coastal Spirit, but we'll see in her efforts to get ready for the A-League. She'll be wanting to get as much game time as you can on a dangerous ball there, just about falling for Cameron. Now come Western Springs through Garcia, their leading scorer. Colpe finding Garcia. No, they can't. Well, Sophia Garcia, American, in her second season here, has been scoring plenty of goals for Western Springs. I think she's uh, scored a hat full in round two and got a couple of goals in the quarter final against Fencibles. Nice little drive here from Captain Lily Jervis. About through the back of Wynnum, no. Something's happened there beforehand. And a free kick. Jess Innes putting a ball in. Oh, and unmarked in the first shot of the game goes high and wide. Much to relief. It was a decent ball in here from Jess Innes. Fell to that, that might have been Lily Jervis in there who had an acre of space but unable to control her shot. <laughs> Garcia there, but the ball was tantalizingly close to getting to her, which would have been caused real problems for Foyle. Dabner, now Turkey Hogan keeps it in well, searches for Cameron. And consolidated by Western Springs. By Jervis, back to Mitchell. Hepburn. Back to Jane. Under pressure. Off to Firth. First great ball through to Hepburn. Releasing now Cameron, who balls in. We're on a six yard box. Winning in there, and it's flicked up, and it looks to be. Hit a hand, but no. Play on, it is. Jane. Dabner. Dabner creates a bit of go for it, but well cut out. Good battle there with the two number 12s. Jerez and Dabner. Wynnum putting all sorts of pressure. It's the two number eights together there. Mayo and Wynnum. There's the ball in. It seemed to flick up there from uh, Nicholson's pressure and hit a hand, but referee was happy to see that carry on. Jervis looks forward. Rolls it into Hill. Under pressure and dispossessed by Cameron. Balls to Wynnum. Into Nicholson. Back to Wynnum. Out to Cameron. And a bit of a tangle up there, and Cameron will be assuming that free kicks for her, but it's not. Hey, 
Jervis. Ward and well won by Firth. Hepburn and Mayo colliding in there. Coastal ball. Cameron flicks it in. Well won by Davner, but it's just too far forward and it will roll calmly enough through to Mitchell. American keeper played in Ireland last year. First season with the club. Cameron clattered into by Jervis. Balls with winner. Little one two with Dabner. This got through to go. Not quite. Dasha Keogan must have been just a bit excited that that ball might have got to her. She was in a great space there and well found. Firth winning the header there. Mayo flicked on with Garcia. Mayo with the throw. Well held up by Garcia. Got to Mayo, but she's standing instantly offside. Switch through Jane. Nice little interchange there with Wynnum. In, ball ends up with Hepburn. Slides it forward for Keoghan. Can she keep it in? Just a bit too much on it from Hepburn. A nice midfield interchange there for Wynnum, Dabner and Hepburn. Nice turn in there from Jerez. And a nice ball through. Simpson making some good territory back there. She recovered. The clearance is not good, but well saved. Simpson can get it away and relieve the pressure for Coastal Spirit. Well, there's a real great opportunity there for Western Springs. Winning, putting pressure on Innes. This is Nicholson. Long ball forward from Jervis. Well patrolled out there by Firth. Jane looking for support. Go to Dabner. Jane searching ball forward. Captain Lily Jervis on the ball. Colpe under pressure from one of two New Zealand under 17 teammates. Here come Western Springs, plenty of pace in here and well covered by Jane. Jez, not dispossessed. Hepburn. Kogan gives it away. Mayo. Under pressure. But calm. Gets a ball to her captain. Jervis and all the way back to Mitchell. And then Simpson doing well there to intercept. Looking for support. Goes back to Jane across to Firth. Wilson into Hepburn. Jane. 
chain. Well, in the past, just missing the connection there. Mitchell. Collected all of that. What a great kick. Perth doing well in there to dispossess and stop any forward movement that Western Springs might have been trying to create. Western Springs is currently sitting third in the... Oh, here we go. Here's an opportunity for Colpe. Is it in? Gone wide. There must have been a save in there from the referee, Robinson. Great little turn in here and a piercing ball through. Gave Colpe plenty of chance. Four was out well. And he just got enough of it. As the ball is sent to a corner. Well, that was awfully well done there by Foyle. After a great ball through, giving Colpe another chance at goal here. Corner swung him well, Foyle punches. It's only gone in the area, back in it goes. Cameron's got it only as far as Garcia. Yeah, nicely done there from Rebecca Wilson. The policewoman from Christchurch. Jane driving out, tripping forward. So it's Simpson giving chase. But you just can't get there. So close. Well, this uh, artificial pitch has been down here a while at uh, Seddon Fields and re recently renovated. They've got a, uh, a wood in field. And here's Wynnum entering the 18 yard line. Gets round one, squares it up. The, the Mitchell's done awfully well there. Hepburn, decent from range. Off the line from Mayo as the keeper looks to be injured. It's San and referee is going to bring this one to we stop here we go nice little ball allowed Wyndham to drive at the defense just tried to get a wee touch around came all the way out to Hepburn who with a decent effort but the awareness of Celia Mayo there to get back on the line to give her keeper some cover has saved the day for a side who quite could quite easily be having to kick off at this stage. Well, keepers coming to the rescue at either end, and we're only 15 minutes in. Do not, I don't think this will uh, be a nil or draw somehow. Hepburn. Now to Kyogen. Just can't quite get it to Cameron. Garcia doing well there to recover. Mayo. Delightful ball through to find Juras. Jane's come around very well there. And... So well, in fact, she's uh, been able to win a goal kick. Firth, now to Wilson. That's... Jerez, able to turn. Puts it out wide towards Mayer out there. Yeah. 
Jane to Dabner and all sorts of pressure. And a loose pass here from Firth. Colby with the ball in. Innes. Out it comes to Hill. Colby. Ball to the far post. And it's in. What an there from number eight. Celia Mayo. I think it is. The opening goal springs there to Celia Mayo. So it is. She's been uh, playing with Western Springs since, since she was a junior. So currently now at university, and she was delighted with the the ball put drifted in there from Tania Hill, who saved the game and saved the blushes earlier on for her side and provides a great service to start the goal scoring here today. What can Coastal do here? Definitely got some more chances in them. But that uh, one did, didn't quite turn out. Hill with a throw. Garcia, Rogeria's in plenty of space there. Dabner. Just can't quite connect. We'll get the ball under control. Jerez, back to Totemu. Simpson, back to Jane. Two youth pride players who won the National Youth League last year. Simpson to Dabna. Searching ball in. Nicholson or Cameron just not able to get on the end of that one. Mitchell with a huge clearance there. First dealt it. Hepburn. Under pressure. One by Jervis. A little foot to me from Firth, but Jervis is able to carry on. Jerez is able to carry on. Mayo, back to Jerez. Sliding tackle in there from Hepburn. Mayo. Might have uh, got a one a corner there for her side. Mara Colpy to take this one. They've gone short. And a dangerous area, well cleared by Jane. Bit of a push in there. This is referee Robinson. Jane. To Firth. Well, just uh, far too much on that one from Jane. An opportunity, but the flag's been risen. Offside. Oh 
Jane rolling into Hipburn. Simpson to get us underway. Hepburn. Can't find a way out of there. Ends up back with Jane. Her pass misses its target. Another great turn in here from Ennis. Let's uh Ball for Jura is easily mopped up by Foyle. Nicholson will give chase, putting pressure on Irvine. Kogan. Balls with Hepburn. To Dabner. Searching for winning, but Hill doing a great closing in roll there. Nice flow of play there. Totimu out to Irvine. Irvine into goal scorer, Mayo. Nicholson, searching ball forward. Easily swept up by Captain Jervis. Mitchell. Through to Firth, who will go back to Foyle. Firth driving round him. And somewhat collected there, but it was initially a play on, but to see what uh, this is going to be a drop ball or a free kick. As Firth came through, receives an apology there from Garcia. Good chance for the players to get hydrated. And the Coastal Girls, well, they've come together to work out a solution to the problem they're in. Been close a couple of times. It'll be uh, even on the chances so far looks like we're just uh, it was a precautionary stop from referee Robinson and Firth obviously currently off the pitch Receiving some attention. Let's hope she can uh, get back on. And the Western Springs position will go back to Jervis. All the way back to the keeper, please, is everybody. And we're underway again. Jervis driving through. Wasn't able to find any support. Coastal just edging the way down this line. Keoghan intercepted and sent forward. Foyle will restart things. Firth's back out there. Jane. 
Balls with Dabner. Now to Nicholson. Had her ball looking for her teammate Cameron there. Easily handled by Mickey Mitchell. Garcia just not able to bring that down. Wilson to win him. Spins easily. Drives at the uh, def West is breaks defense, but it can't find the weight needed to get the ball into the path of Brittany Nicholson. Hepburn stepping in. Losing position. Irvine. Can't keep it in. Nice work in there from Jacob. Nicholson wins the ball back for Coastal Spirit. Under all sorts of pressure. And it's Mayer who's come away with it. Simpson. Solidifying the position for Coastal Spirit. Firth. Jane. Well, as we come up to the half hour mark, the longer these two sides can keep up with each other, I think the more chance of Seeing goals, more goals here today. Here's Wyndham. Ball into Kyogen. Dispossessed, and here's the pacey attack for Western Springs. Firth doing well to get in there, but Garcia now on the ball. Back to Totimu. Dispossessed by Wyndham. Wyndham's able to get it out to uh, Cameron. Is that all sorts of pressure there from Irvine? Jane, back to Simpson, and it goes to Firth. Long it goes, and Gogan just unable to reach that one. There's a decent ball through, and Real opportunity there for Coastal Spirit to create some opportunities. Dabner across it all the way across to Simpson to Jane. Punches it in the direction of Wynnum, but cut out well. Here's Colpy on the ball. Back to Innes. Across to Irvine. The ball through. Well, just moments of uncertainty there for the Coastal Spirit defence. Well cleaned up by Foyle. Wynnum evading, releasing Dabner. Dabner, pass, can't find a teammate. Garcia, back to Hill. Timu back into Colpe. Well, let's play on from referee Robinson. And the connecting pass just ends up with foil. And a bit, bit of a collision in there. In the midfield, and it's Jess Innes. He stayed down. Just a bit of a coming together there. Well, oh, Jess Innes in the third season here with Western Springs. Played a bit of New Zealand age group football in her time. Jane rolls it into Hepburn. Out to Firth. 
to Dabner. Dabner with a bit of a loose touch, but recovers well for the time. Back to Foyle. To Jane. And there's some space to work with here for Jane. Cameron. Simpson now to take the throw. Gets it to Hepburn. Who passed Cannons and off her teammate to give a Western Springs throw. Jane caught out of position here. What can Western Springs do? Dabner's pounced on it. Let's win him. The Hepburn to Kyogen. Hepburn charging through, but a necessary Western Springs toe was in there. Winham taking on Colpe. Rolls it into Nicholson. And a foul spotted there. Hall. Out to Garcia. And Jervis. It's a bit of a misdirected pass in there. Keoghan releases it forward to Dabner. But Lily Jervis doing so well for a side there to cut that opportunity off before it even began. Jervis rolling it out. Not the uh, intention, I'm sure. Up and over. Here's Nicholson. Cameron will give chase. Nice work in here from Garcia, but her pass is cut out by Firth. Hepburn on the ball. And a bit of space. Will she ever go from range here? Very capable of putting one in from distance is Whitney Hepburn. But that is well defended in the end from Western Springs. Firth. Here's Garcia taking on the line at pace. Ball drifted out towards, towards Mayo, but just again controlling the weight on this artificial pitch. Might just be a wee challenge for some of these players today. Both sets of players, I'm sure, are well versed in playing on artificials. Here's a ball for Nicholson, but too heavy. And Mitchell and Western Springs have a reset. And with those decent chop kicks, really getting some great distance. I wonder if there's a breeze. And the flag suggests there may be. And what have we got here? It's a free kick. I didn't see uh, what that was for, but Western Springs. We see a few bit of tall timber making its way through and into the 18 yard box. Jess Innes on the ball. Goes central with it, and Garcia was all alone. Surely, obviously a very well-timed run, or close to being offside, but Foyle dealt well with that in the end. Ayo, Colpe. Off to Garcia. Hill. Clearance from Jervis, blocked by Cameron. Hill to Nicholson Morley. 
that one roll out. Wilson. We'll have another go. Dabner back to Wilson. He'll flicked on. Hell, delightful touch there to release Jerez. And it's Kopi and putting Jane under pressure. And well defended. Great turn in there and went to ground, but play on. Oh, hell there. With a great bit of a coming together there with Hill and Nicholson. And so lineman lines. This has gone for a coastal spirit free kick. As Hill tried to cross the ball in there, but Garcia balls with Hepburn tries to get by. There it is with Cameron out to win him. It's all things very tight at the moment. Dabner to Wilson, back to Dabner. Wilson coming across a block wall that's Taitimu. Dabner, dangerous ball in, but well dealt with for the moment. The ball's back with Dabner. Cameron drives it in and cleared. Five minutes left in this first half of this Kate Shepherd semi final. Simpson. Down to one, two. Keogan, but one, one back by Western Springs. Simpson into Wynnum. Irvine to Mayo. Mayo clattered into by Simpson and pulled up by Robinson. Colby. Attempted through ball there, just too heavy and easily dealt with by Foyle. Hepburn, hot in the heels of Innes. Irvine, back with Innes. Searching ball forward. Dealt with well by Firth. There's a long range shot in here. But not on target. There's a good opportunity here for Western Springs in the dying stages of this first half. Here comes Sprint. Coastal Spirit through Nicholson.
Kerrigan to Simpson. Back to Kerrigan, but they all just drifting over the sideline. Move on. Just taking a few too many steps there. Simpson to throw, but cut out and position now with Western Springs. Irvine. Dabner all the way back to Jane. Jane will come across to Firth. Wilson. Well blocked by Garcia. And Cameron. Trying to get away to the ball. Good connection in there from Jervis and Hill. Right, intercepted by Firth. The ball's with. Back with Western Springs as it tempted to fall into the path of Brittany Nicholson. Mayo. Back to Irvine. Winham's intercepted. Cuts. Drives to Dabner. Ball's put out. And again, just overhit from Coastal Spirit. Both sides just struggling to find the right weight for passes on this artificial surface here at Seddon Fields. As we explained earlier, it's got a wood chip fill in this one. That's Kogan. Bundled over, but play on. A turn in there from Colpe to Totinu in the direction of Garcia. Can she bring it under control? Cuts in well, crosses, it eludes everybody, and it's a goal kick. Well, it was a decent run in here. Wilson was hearing in on that one, but Sophia Garcia with a tight turn. The Cross couldn't find any of her teammates. Ennis searching for Mayo. Simpson will win the race to the ball and well out by foil. Well, time's up. We're in the additional time phase here of the first half. Simpson to win him. Spins, releases Kyogen. There's some numbers in the box here, but can't get past. Laid back to Hepburn on your left foot. Has a go. Oh, and just touched up and over by Mickey Mitchell. A decent left-footed shot in here from Hepburn. Teed up and struck well. But Mitchell doing very well there to get back and keep the scores in her team's favour. Well, where's the ball gone? And well, it was a decent hit back in the six-yard box. Mitchell pouncing on it, on the loose ball. Great couple of chances in there for the visitors in these dying stages. And it's Colpy on the ball. Searches for Mayo. The ball's got to it. Has a go at it. Simpson was there, but the ball's got through the foil. And it's all going to come to an end for the first half. Well, there were chances of plenty out there. But the scores, the Western Springs won. Coastal Spirit nil. No. And it was a Celia Mayo goal, giving the advantage to the home side so far.
but plenty of chances and my money's on a few more goals being scored in this match before we wrap things up here well let's take a breath grab a cup of tea and join us for the second half of this Kate Shepherd Cup semi-final The fern is a symbolic representation for all New Zealanders and has been reimagined to represent all of football in Aotearoa, New Zealand. A circular shape not only symbolises the round ball used by all those that play the game, but also, and more importantly, represents the strength and infinite connection created by all those that play a part of the game. With each piece of the fern recognising and acknowledging those that make the beautiful game beautiful. The stalk represents our grassroots, our communities, our clubs, our volunteers and our fans. They are the foundation and are at the centre of all we do. The pinna represents our federations across the whole of New Zealand. Our federations guide and protect our clubs and communities, allowing everyone to be heard, to be represented and provide guidance and opportunities at every pathway. One brand identity with regional differentiation. Federations in New Zealand football working together to serve our communities, creating more than a game, creating a sporting whānau where everyone is welcome. We believe in supporting and nurturing our extended sporting whānau, working towards promoting a healthy group activity that kids, parents and friends love. We want everyone to feel invited. It is in our DNA. We are accessible to all. We are football in Aotearoa. We are the beautiful game and we are proud to be the largest sporting whānau in New Zealand. Well, welcome back here to Seddon Fields as the two sides come out. You might just have a time to have a look at the many highlights that are in this game. Well, there's a great little run through here by Lara Colpe, but closed down by Una Foyle was the first chance. Wynnum created something at the other end, coming together with an advancing Mickey Mitchell. And then decent shot in here from Whitney Hepburn cleared off the line by Tanya Hill. Well, it was Colpe's ball in that found Celia Mayo to open the scoring here today. The long range effort there, I think, was from Algeria's and Sophie Garcia was providing plenty of, plenty of a handful for Coastal Spirit. And Hepburn with another shot late in the piece. Saved well by Mickey Mitchell. And even from the resulting corner, there was another opportunity for the visitors. Who will get us underway here in this semi-final battle. The other game, Eastern Suburbs hosting Wellington United, currently sitting at 0-0. So they might be in for a, a bit of a longer game over there at Metals Farm. As you saw in those uh, quick flash of highlights we were able to bring you, there were plenty of chances for scoring. Both keepers even in their place today. And very likely to see some more goals here today. Referee is checking. 
Everybody's on the same page, and we'll get this one underway. Sounds like a couple of changes there. Laura Newman coming on for Coastal Spirit. And it looks like Jada Stewart also. So two substitutions here from Wan Chang to try to get things rolling. Move on under pressure from Nicholson. Well, one in there from Simpson. Maybe Jada Stewart will play playing in the attacking line there. Simpson, go back to foil. Bit of a skyed effort there from foil. Mm -hmm. Simpson, the way back to Jane, rolls it into Dabna, out to Firth, searches for Wilson. Storming down the left-hand touch line, but can't quite keep it in. It looks like it might have been Dasha Keoghan who's gone to the side there. Cameron, twisting, turning, looking for that. Opportunity to get a strike on. Hitburn will go back. Firth across to Jane. Into Dabner. Rolls it in the direction of Stewart, but misses there. Well, I haven't seen Laura Newman out there quite yet. Dabna clipping it forward, but Jervis is there to provide cover. Simpson will have the throw. High in the attacking half. Balls to Dabna. Got to Stewart. Tries to Get the ball goalward, but with no real power. Well, it was, came in and off a couple of defenders there and ended up with Stewart who poked the outside of her right foot at the ball and gave no troubles to Mickey Mitchell in goal. Hill. To Garcia. Firth going back and getting it back from. Nice work in there from Colpy to put pressure on Wynnum as she received the pass. Oh, a bit of a coming together there. And Western Springs will continue. Mayo, around one. Squares it to Innes. Innes back into Wards Mayo, but whistle blowing, maybe an offside. Jane. And it's with Nicholson. Gets it to Wynnum. Wynnum punching the ball through in the direction of Stewart. But cut out well. Hepburn to Wynnum. Back to Dabner. 
Dabnick can't pierce the line, defensive line, this Western Springs side. Firth to Jane as Coastal Spirit settle it down. Hepburn. Put under pressure, and Wynnum will go back to Jane. Firth, back to Hepburn. Ball four could find someone in a lot of space here. There's Mel Cameron in the six round box. Well out by Mitchell, and she goes at it again. And it's great to turn and keeping there from Mickey Mitchell to close down that opportunity that went in the direction of Mel Cameron. It's a delightful ball through. Nicholson probably wise to leave that one alone. But Mitchell came out and owned that whole phase of play. Stewart to Dabner. Back to Jane. Firth. Wilson. Wide on the left. Clips it in with the right foot into Stewart. Turns. But can only put it wide. And it goes from Jervis, one by Firth. With Cameron. Spins to Firth. To Wilson. Down the line to Stewart. Close down Welbo Hill. Into the six yard box it goes, but Stewart's shot. Not again lacking that power. Well, there's Jada Stewart there. He Samoan International coming on and Getting herself into some great positions at this early part of the first half. He's definitely capable of connecting with it. And will, will be definitely working hard to get her side back into this game. Irvine. Simpson beating Mario to the ball there. Oh, well, a bit of sun coming out now here at Western Springs, Auckland. Ennis to Kopi. Back they go to Hill. Driving forward here, chased by Stuart, but and well won, but resorted to a bit of jersey pulling. Well, a good contest in there. Tania Hill, ex Hamilton Wanderers player, New in the under New Zealand under 17 framework. Jane. Nice ball over, cocked a wee bit there, and. Mitchell will soak up a few seconds here. Well, she's kicking it just as far on both halves, so we have to say that there's not much wind out there. This first comes forward. Rolls it towards winner, but she's met with three green and white Western Springs jerseys as they tried to consolidate some, some position there Western Springs but the through ball there not coming to anything Jane well won by Jervis 
Hepburn bringing it down, getting to well one in there, and his here comes Jerez, and her shot is slipping as she's tried to strike it. Foyle gets it up to Cameron. Mel Cameron, vastly experienced player. They sure can be knighted pride for a few years now. Another player who will be working hard for Coastal Spirit to get them back into the game here, but here's Sophie Garcia. Putting pressure on Jane. Nice work from Juris to Colpe. Colpe rolling it out in the direction of Tani Hill. Receives the ball back. This could be a dangerous one, but the experienced Unifor comes out and distributes and starts the ball back with Dabna. Now to Stewart. Punches the ball through, but just misses getting it to Nicholson. And Mitchell again is delaying, drawing Nicholson, making sure she works hard for full position. And it's Swinham back to Simpson. Saves it back, spins out into Firth. This ball from Dabner flicked on to Hepburn, but can't retain it as they try to work their way through. And here come it's Lara Colpe. Great foot in there from Jane, but the attack's not over. Jerez, well defended by Firth. A timely foot in there from Eleanor Firth, New Zealand. University's futsal player. Oh, this could be it. Set a well timed foot in there from Meg Simpson to deny Celia Mayo with a second goal. Well, it was a strange little ball in here and thrashed across the six yard box. And Simpson, timely arrival to deny Celia Mayo a second goal here today. Well, Western Springs would be delighted to get a second goal just to give themselves a bit of a cushion here. Oh, a decent ball through. Eluded everybody. Only by millimetres. The Sophie Garcia there at the far post who looked to have the best chance of putting that one away. Jane rolls it to Simpson and great work in there from Celia Mayo to slow the proceedings down. Win him back to Simpson. Simpson, accurate pass to Winham, but she's outnumbered. Well controlled. And the old see-through dugouts haven't been invented here yet. So I can't see what's going on there. Great spin. There's a wee opportunity here. Colpy on the ball at the edge of that end. Consolidates the position a bit. Dabner. Stewart. And she retained position as she powers forward. Out to Wilson. Dabner. Runs into Garcia and just a bit too much force in there from winning goal scorer Sophia Garcia. Okay, we've got some changes here for Western Springs. It looks like a three person change. Yeah. Fourth official 
and busy here. So we've got Looks three like. subs happening here. We've got Maya Lai, Megan Lee, and Savage coming on to replace Sarah Jones. Well, three changes here for Western Springs. Ella Jerris and Lara Colpe have been working hard all night. Have made it to the sideline. And someone else as well, I haven't, didn't quite pick up there. And we've got Megan Lee, who's a New Zealand football employee. Maya Lay, the Mount Halper Grammar Year 12 student. And the very experienced Liz Savage. To uh, bring her experience to the game for this final half hour. And it's Garcia on Jane. One on one battle. Jane getting a good foot in. Kept in. The balls are savage. Drives it in. Garcia looking to get the ball onto that far post. But can't keep it in. Foil to Jane. And through it goes, chased by Megan Lee. Jane to Debner. Pounced on by Savage. And again by Hepburn. Gary Nicholson. Cut out. They were so well there by the Western Springs defence. Well, Mayo just unable to bring that one under control. And the eight Coastal Spirit throw for Simpson. And we've got another ball on the pitch, so let's have another go at that one. Simpson, Dabner flicks on, but not in her intended direction. Well, you can see out the back there, it looks like a FIFA training field. I'm not sure who was uh, stationed out here, but I'm sure most of these ladies out here playing today have been watching and inspired by the FIFA World Cup. Wilson launches it forward. Cameron putting all sorts of pressure on the newly arrived Megan Lee in the back line for Western Springs. And she's done well to clear that pressure for the moment. Simpson to win him. Back to Simpson. Dabna, Simpson, clips it in, well defended in there, once again by the Western Springs defenders, Winham, gets it in and play on, here's an opportunity for Western Springs, but the defence is strong for Coastal Spirit, Dabna, toes it on, gets it to Cameron, Cameron, Put under some experience pressure there from Liz Savage. Go, 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 go. 
Here goes Sophie Garcia. Clips it in. And well defended by Wilson. The ball's with Wynnum. Looking for a way forward. How can they unlock? Hepburn. And Harden. Well won. <laughs> in the end, there might have been a bit of a handball in there from Lily Taitimu. Over 90 caps for Western Springs has Lily Taitimu. Firth on the ball. Launched into the 18 yard box. Flicked on. And well dealt with by Mitchell. Savage coming together with Dabner. And it's Meyer Little who was trying to thread the ball through. Wynnum spinning away, driving it through to Stewart. Just about gets beyond Lily Jervis as she contorted herself to stop the ball getting anywhere near Brittany Lickelson, who is usually quite lethal in that sort of range. So well defended in there by the captain. But it has meant a corner. And are we... Lauren Dabner to take this. Swings it in. Hepburn's here. Bounces in and we've got a goal. Whitney Hepburn. Well, the 66th minute sees the scores tied. The Lauren Dabner... And that is corner pinpointed right on, on two, number two, Whitney, Whitney Hepburn. And Lily Totimu gave it a best shot of keeping that one out, but scores all level here at Seddon Fields. And that's the word of my ear. Wellington United have just scored on the other side of the Auckland against this is one more. It's an absolutely deadly delivery in there from Lauren Dabner. And it's Whitney Hepburn who has uh, provided such uh, aerial strength in there. Win him. So pulling out all the tricks to try to keep the ball for her side. Simpson's passed, cut out. And it's with Innes. Simpson cutting it out. Dabner. Good pressure on the ball again from... Liz Savage, win him to Hepburn. Hepburn. Just losing position and a threaded ball through here to Sophie Garcia. Jane slowing her down. The ball on the 18 yard line and Hepburn has done enough there just to put pressure on. I think it was Lily Taitimu there. As she tried to unleash a shot from the top of the 18 yard box. Wilson threads the ball down and it's Mel Cameron. Yeah, and what's going on there? As Lily Jervis upended her. And there's a few numbers going forward again. This will be Eleanor Firth on the ball. A set play threat. Is the ball going to fall? It'll be cleared. Under control from Western Springs. Well, the pass is just not sitting at the moment for Western Springs. 
Simpson. Well cut out here by Megan Lee. Garcia into Totimu. Back to Jervis. Back to Mitchell. Firth driving away. Dabna gets the ball to Jane. All of them to win him to back to Dabna. Out to Stewart. Drops in. Releases Cameron. And the flag was raised. She just made her run that moment too early. It's a great little connection. Four or five passes there from Coastal Spirit. As they try to grab themselves the lead in this contest. Stewart. Dabner, launching an early attack here through Brittany Lee Nicholson, brings it down on the 18, gets round one, and the fresh legs of Megan Lee there coming to the rescue for Western Springs as the trigger was about to be pulled by Brittany Lee Nicholson. Here we see a nice early ball from Dabner, well-timed run. The cover defence was there through Kitty Jacob. But the final bit of defensive work there done well by Megan Lee. And here's a corner from Dabner. Back in, headed back and out. Well. The home side made, being made to work very hard here by the Tumen Coastal Spirit. They sniff a chance to get through to the final. Here comes Wynnum, squares it to Hepburn, given some room, she'll have a crack from here. Well defended, plenty of numbers back from Western Springs. Jane threads it through to Wynnum. She's able to turn and release Simpson. But the sideline winning the race there. And the press is staying high here for Coastal Spirit as the whistle's blowing. We might have a substitution, we do. It's goal scorer Whitney Hepburn who's come to the side. Wait and see, might be just some first aid treatment, maybe. Nicholson to Simpson, into Dabner, clips it forward. Into space for Nicholson to run on to. Kitty Jacobs there to return it. <laughs> Mitchell and Jacob combining well. Dabner. Back to Jane. Across to Firth. And to Wynnum. Spins out of a couple. That ramp robs of the ball by Maya Little. Sends it in the direction of Sophie Garcia. Now the Balls with Wynnum and Coastal Spirit. Cross to Hepburn, who's back on the pitch. So it must just have been a bit of injury break for her. And a good tight tussle with here from between Simpson and Mayo. Innes, patrolled into the corner by Jane. Big tackle in there from Brittany Nair Nicholson doing some defensive work.
can't see it. Dabner able to get it up to Cameron under all sorts of pressure. Rode, rode it well. And the combination of attention, attention from Jacob and Lee. Sees Cameron at the turf. Win him. Looking for support. Can't find a way forward. Should go back to Simpson. Simpson. Searching ball through. Stewart. Cameron doing nearly ever so well to keep that one in. Jervis. Ball forward to Savage, who can't keep it in. Hepburn to Wilson. Jervis. Ball pounced on by Dabner. Dabner gives it back to her. Lee. Bit of, a, bit of a head clash here between, I think it's Whitney Hepburn and Liz Savage. Savage seems to have rode it okay, but Hepburn's on the deck. And the teams will gather the 76th minute mark. Just over a quarter of an hour to go in this one. We're all tied up. Gives us a chance to maybe look across town. See what's going on over there in the other semi final. Looks like uh, it's one goal advantage to Wellington United remains. Good to see Whitney Hepburn back on her feet and hopefully we'll return back on the pitch. Although it seems to be there might, might be some substitutions coming up for Coastal Spirit, but no, Hepburn's ready to come back on under the instruction of the referee. Jane, cross to Firth, into Dabner, back to Jane, Savage putting pressure on, and winning the ball back, Dabner to win him, and she's able to release the ball, Stewart, putting pressure on Jervis, and she's not too happy with that clearance, but it was absolutely necessary. Simpson into Stewart. Off to Nicholson. Goes over, goes to the left foot. Jervis's long legs are in the way. And again, providing a critical resource for Western Springs. Nicholson to Dabna. Stewart released, but Jacob will win that one. Mitchell. Calm as you like. Moves the ball across the face of her own goal. Clever work in there from my little life, sorry. Savage. Getting more and more involved as the game goes on. Oh, and another overcooked pass boy. A player here at Seddon Fields. And we are going to see a change. 15 for 16. So Meg Simpson's night all day is over. And she'll be replaced by Darfield High School student Isla McPherson. And we're 
just over 10 minutes to go. Another we member of the victorious Pride Youth team in the National League. Replacing number 16, Meg Simpson. So just a, looks like a, a bit of a swap around. McPherson going into left back and Wilson coming across to the right. Garcia. Just can't engineer a pass. And Wilson. Jane. Well won by Jacob. Here's Savage. Here's a go. Clipped on. McPherson. We'll bring it out for Coastal Spirit. Down the line to Hepburn. Bailed into by Tani Hill. Well, Hepburn's been in the war since she scored the goal. This critical goal, Levela. In the 66th minute. To reply to the first half goal from Celia Mayo. Firth. Out to Jane. All into Wynnum. Spins. Looking for someone to release, but... Hill's done well there to get position back for his side. Dabner. With the intercept. McPherson. Go back to Firth. Across to Jane. This back four of Coastal Spirit have been working hard today and working well. Wynnum finds Nicholson. Drifts across. Back to Wynnum. And, and Cameron just clipping. The advancing defender, quite fortuitous for her side there, one might think. And it's Captain Lily Jervis on the ground there. He's been a stoic defender for Western Springs today. And doesn't look comfortable. It might be just having a wee strategic breather. With eight minutes to go. Good time just to compose things, get a breath. This is both sides search for that goal that's going to take them through to the Football Foundation Kate Shepherd Cup for 2023. Well, Coastal Spirits week was a, a busy one. Last weekend, they in the league, they beat Nelson Suburbs 5-0. And on Tuesday night in the Morrison Mitsubishi Rita Fitzpatrick Cup, which is a domestic competition in Canterbury, knockout cup. They went down an extra time, 3-2, to their rivals, Kashmir Technical. And this coming weekend, they'll trail host Nelson Suburbs. Ellers, Ellerslie's the next fixture for this Western Springs team. After a draw last weekend with Auckland United, their position in the National League is secure, I understand. And... Things just seem to be getting a bit dark out there for me. I'm not sure if the cloud cover's just to come over. And Dabner trying to spin through and absolutely cleaned out by Kitty Jacob. And Lauren Dabner in her 
Will be her last game for the season. I understand she's off on her US holiday. Well, Lauren Debner has spent a bit of time in America in the college system, as many players do. And she's heading back there to if Coastal Spirit were to make the final. She might have a um, wee decision to make. Well, it's Jay Yulavili and Samoan International. And it's Celia Mao, who has her name on the score sheet for Western Springs. Hepburn trying to muscle her way through the midfield. Xanthi Jane able to clean things up as the ball was headed in the direction of Shannon Delaney. No, no I beg your pardon. I think that was Sir Woods Megan Lee who is in a high position. Here comes Stewart, feeding the ball out towards Mel Cameron. Jervis is back on. Firth gives it away. Megan Lee. Gets the ball across to Maya Live. They're just losing that contest. And that's doing well there. That crossfield ball. Advanced run here from Kitty Jacob. Ball into the six yard box. Cleared well by Jane. Got out to Stewart. Stewart to win him. Win him. Tried to get around. We're very experienced. Jess Ennis. Got the ball up to Sophie Garcia. Sophia Garcia. Strikes on with the left peg. But no trouble for Una Foyle. Dabner. Rolls it forward to Nicholson. Chipped over by Hepburn. I just got to a wee bit too much of that one. Mitchell, another impressive drop kick. A little bit of a tangle up, but Coastal Spirit doing well then. The ball's with McPherson. To Cameron under pressure. Then. And Tony Hill will pick up a yellow. That's a too many uh, occasions, according to referee Robinson. And a good opportunity here for Coastal Spirit to get the ball into the danger zone. And just temptingly close to Mel Cameron, but the ball was always looking likely to make its way for a goal kick. Hill. It's Garcia just making her run a tad too early, according to the linesman. She looks like she might just be... Uh, Suggesting that he got it wrong, but referee Robinson reminding Miss Garcia of the etiquette required to play fair play the game. Here's Stewart driving forward, connects with Nicholson, C continues her run. A well defended area by Western Springs. Well, I believe this will be, uh, if extra time is required, we will be, it will be sort of 15 minutes each way and then no doubt penalties if that remains even. 
the uh, Coastal Spirit. This will be they played in their Cup semi final in Christchurch on Tuesday night. And that had to go to extra time to be sorted. So the fitness and the will be really tested here for these Coastal Spirit ladies. Hill drives the ball goalward. Fall into Garcia, but ended up through into Unifor's hands. Winnan brings it down. Spins it out to Dabner. No, Wilson. Cameron just wasn't able to win that header, and Hill will let it travel. They burn to McPherson. Back to Firth. Drives around a couple. Gets away that clip, but Dabner keeps position. Wilson. Well won by Jervis. Garcia off the back of her head. And McPherson will move the ball to the safety of Unifoil. Jane to Firth. Now to McPherson. Uh, unable to keep it in as she progressed down that left hand touch line. And Maya Live. Unable to keep it in. Firth sends it forward to Winnan. Uh, Looking for support, and here it comes in the shape of Rebecca Wilson. Continues to run, does win him. Squares up, turns, gets inside the 18 yard box. Tries to chop through, Stewart's there. Dabner able to retain position for a coastal spirit. Hepburn having to go from range, but tough to be taken by Mickey Mitchell, who will no doubt. Put one of the infamous drop kicks well down the park as we are well inside of the referee's additional time. Hill, opportunity to drive at the line, threads the ball through, but Xanthi Jane has played ever so well today. And it's Hill who's been. Warned again. Just mistiming her challenge there. Firth. Switching the ball to Wilson. Lee. Able to get the ball under control. The ball through to Garcia who leaves it. Nice little one-two, Garcia with an opportunity here to thrash it, but not the connection she desired. What an opportunity in the 93rd minute. Now Wynnum, getting the ball to Stewart. A bit of room in front of it. But well defended by, again by Kitty Jacob. McPherson giving chase. My alive, doing well to retain position for the home side. Ennis. Well won by Wilson. Jane. To Stewart. Able to turn. Good intercept in here from Ennis. Feeds it through to Garcia. Her run just a tad too early. As everybody has a collective look at their watches. So there was a couple of my referee breaks for injuries here in the second half. And 
No doubt that's the time that's been added on at this stage. Foyer will come and collect. Who's going to break the deadlock here? And we'll have to sit in and uh, wait to another half an hour's worth of football. As these sides have reached the full time, all scores even. There's a Celia Mayo goal in the first half that gave Western Springs a 1 0 advantage. And but in the 66th minute, a Whitney Hepburn captain's goal. Brought things level. We might just have to be able to get a wee look at those goals again. And this is the opening goal of the day. It was Lara Kolpe drifted into the six yard box. It was well met by Celia Mayo to give the home side the lead. There's a few highlights from the second half as it was Jada Stewart who was introduced at half time, had an opportunity. And Mel Cameron here was well met by an advancing Mickey Mitchell who smothered that opportunity. The chances still came for Western Springs and it was Meg Simpson to the rescue as Celia Mayo was so close to getting her second. Here's the goal, the corner well placed on the six yard box and down into the ground and up and over the defender from Whitney Hepburn to, that brought things level. Great opportunity and ball here went the way of Brittany Nicholson who cut inside one for the defending from Megan Lee and the recovery run stopped her in her tracks. Sophie Garcia, Sophia Garcia keeps getting herself in the action. And it was these two opportunities she came her way, but accuracy was there, the power was not, and easily dealt with by keeper Una Foyle. So, we'll be into two 15 minute halves here. As we look across town, it's Wellington United who have made the Kate Shepherd Cup with a away win over Eastern Suburbs over at Maddles Farm. And we are going to have to just be patient and wait for this game to give us a result to see who they'll host or play in the final. I think you're both. Coastal Spirit have made a couple of changes in the uh, normal time. Western Springs have made four. Just the one more player to bring on if they wish to. I'm sorry, actually Coastal Spirit have made three. No. It's coach, interim coach Caleb Ward out there inspiring his girls to dig deep and get them to get a bit of leverage out of their home support as the captains make their way to the referee to determine how this extra, extra period of time will go. Well, both captains being very influential on the game. Lily Jervis has been a rock at the back for Western Springs. And Hepburn in the middle has been marshalling her team and, of course, popping up and scoring the equaliser. Well, teams are going to swap ends by the look of it.
in the Coastal Spirit kickoff with this period of extra time. Both sides having to dig deep to get themselves to the final against Wellington United. Well, it was uh, 2013 that Coastal Spirit last had their hands on the cup. As we mentioned, three of the players have been there and done that in this competition. And I dare say, I'd love the opportunity to be able to do it again. Dabner just launches it forward, easily dealt with by and Captain Jervis, who returns the favour. Foyle, not interested in playing it out of the back. Away <laughs> comes Ennis. Hugely influential in this midfield today. We can't find the right weight for that pass in the direction of Sofia Garcia. Una four. Now to Firth. McPherson. All sorts of arm waving. Yeah. Hepburn. Battling away in their midfield. And again, might have just collected another knock. Western Springs in it. We'll just continue. McPherson's going to be able to lead this one run out of shoot. No. Good pressure in there from my life. And Hepburn, he's been in the wall since she uh, scored the 66 minute equaliser. Seems to have uh, we've got another wee boot. Doesn't look too comfortable there. And she shuffles off the park under the direction of referee Robinson. And we'll continue. Firth, able to bring that down and clear. Jervis launches into the area. Dabner getting a knee in there, which will result in a corner, I think. No. It must, it must have been a Western Springs league that got the final touch. And out comes Anthony Jane, you know, Rangu or high school student. Melissa Winham. It's forward to Brittany Nicholson. Turns. And a crucial little toe in there from uh, Kitty Jacob. Nicholson bringing it down. Hasn't gone out yet. Nicholson spinning. Jesse Ennis kept bearing in her path to it. To the end. Win him intercepting, turning, looking to get some forward progress. Tidy little bit of control and weaving run. Just tried to get the ball out to vacant Mel Cameron. He was in some great space on the left. Here come Mrs. Springs and it's Elena Firth who's intercepted well once again. Stewart in space. Can she feed it through? She can to Nicholson, but out comes Mickey Mitchell to save her side. It looks like Hepburn has made her way back onto the park. And McPherson will collect and throw 
Firth. Back to McPherson. Into Hepburn. Dabn is there. But Hill is intercepted. All sorts of chat going there. Hill to Garcia. Turns. Dabn is present. McPherson. Still in and Cameron able to continue down this left hand side and retain position. Ball's going to fall to Hepburn. Gets it to Wynnum. Wynnum into Cameron. The ball's through. Wynnum at the penalty spot. It's base. And there must have been a defender's foot in there that Wynnum shot. Collect. Well, what a ball, what a lovely bit of interchange in there from the Coastal Spirit attacking group. And McPherson is uh, got a wee hit on that one. We might get another look at that. That play that resulted in Alyssa Wynnum finding herself in space with just the keeper to beat. The defence collapsed on it very quickly and the ball ended up safely in the hands of Mickey Mitchell. Here it is. Wynnum to Cameron. Flicked on by Nicholson. And the defence collapsing well. To deny Wynnum the opportunity. It's down the other end and across the six yard line it goes. Well, it's all action, just as it has been for the first 90. Great work in here from Liz Savage, who drifts the ball in and it's gone in at the near post. My word. Liz Savage. The former football fan in her first season here at. Western Springs. This is possesses a defender. And has she got herself to an effort to cross. The post interfered with Uma Falls' intention to grab it. And advantage going in the way of the home side. 2 1, seven minutes into extra time. Oh, Liz Savage will be, I understand, had a season off last year. Had a baby boy last year and uh, back into football and giving the best of chances here for the home side to get, advance through to the final. Wynnum drives at the defence and... <laughs> Jervis has just come in and body blocked. Wynnum and there's going to be a free kick here for Coastal Spirit in a very threatening spot. Four person wall. It's like Brittany Nguyen Nicholson, New Zealand futsal player, New Zealand University futsal player. Also capped as a New Zealand Māori player earlier this year. And of course, a pride stalwart as well on the ball. Up and over the wall, and she goes. And just outside of that left hand upright. Struck it well enough. Look to have have had Mickey Mitchell scrambling slightly, but unfortunately for the visitors, it went wide. Here comes Neil Live to Garcia on Jane. 
And Jane's able to get a toe in. Well, is the intensity going to continue? Certainly will from Coastal Spirit, but there's Garcia, squares. And out we come to Mel Cameron. Got some room to move, but the defence collapses in on her. Innes doing very well. And Cameron just unable to keep that one in to continue an attack. Well, there's all sorts of action down here at Seddon's Field today. Good to see football alive and well in all conditions, in all grades. Winnem brings it down, but a great recovery run there from Taitimu. Live. person being told of told where to take it let's do it McPherson back to Firth across to Jane Jervis to the rescue again it's Jacob Which is for Innes, but Cameron's worked hard to get the ball back. And Hepburn again clattered into and will not enjoy that. So both players might have This time, Hepburn is able to get to her feet. Referee has uh, brought the captain in, Lily Jervis, just to give Kitty Jacob a, maybe just a wee chat about her expect the referee's expectations of her. Jane on the ball. Plenty of black shirts committed. Their advanced position here. It's launched into dangerous area. Where's it going to fall? Denia McPherson, it's back out. Put back in by Jane. It's made it to, made it to Dab Nibbit. Propelled forward. Couldn't Dabna. It's Liz Savage who's uh, been a very influential where she's come on. Stuart flicks it forward. Fortunate there by Ula Vili. Lilavili on the ball. For to Garcia. Savage. Dispossessed by Stewart. McPherson will go back to four. Forward comes Jane. Her pass cut out well by Megan Lee. Jane launches it forward. Stewart trying to get involved in the corridor of uncertainty between 
Tanya Hill and Mickey Mitchell. Garcia to Savage. There's a go from range. Foil able to deal with that one relatively easily. Savage on the ball. Takes it to a right. Clips it. And it's offside from my life. Dabner. Cameron into Stewart. Turned over and a real good opportunity here for Western Springs. Savage gets round one, launches one, and a decent crossbar rattler there from Liz Savage. Man, must have had Una Foil at, had Una Foyle at full extension. She was no doubt relieved to see it bounce up and over. Things just not falling the way of coastal spirit just at this moment. Forward it goes. Captain on captain out here. There's Jervis and Hepburn. Will the ball get to win him at the edge of the area? But Hill doing well. McPherson driving. Not forced wide by the defence. To, to win him. On the left foot. Gets round. No, she doesn't. Great work in there from Earl of Elite. A bit of connection in there from Isla McPherson. And a free kick for the home side. Captain Jervis to take. And a uh, good missing connection there on the shoe. Hill promotes it forward. Let's fall on to Lee. Who gets it back across and in. Calm as you like. Megan Lee. Ball just drifted over Rebecca Wilson and it absolutely delighted Megan Lee. So it fall to a, a touch, wasn't the greatest, but was able to somehow get it back across. Probably was looking for a cross to the advancing Sophia Garcia, but, but it has nestled itself. The ball has nestled itself inside the right hand upright and given. Western Springs, a great advantage here in this first half of the time. And there can't be too much time left in it either, as 15 minutes seem to be up. Hepburn. Dabner. Forward to Cameron. Weaves gets the ball through to win him. Win him with her back to goal. Ula really trying to get the better of it. Here comes Liz Savage. Gliding across the field, getting their ball forward. Head into the corner and uh, their first 15 minutes of extra time is up. Well, we have a three goals to one advantage for the home side, Western Springs. Well, what can we do? What can Coastal do here? That they usually just a instant turnaround, but there's, we'll have time for a few highlights. It's Wynnum, Cameron, and Nicholson who engineered an attack, but it was... Kitty Jacob, who came up with the crucial block. 
And here's the goal from Liz Savage. I imagine it might have been an intended cross that crept in over Una Fall. Nicholson had a decent crack at the other end, but couldn't get it on target. And Savage had another couple of great long range efforts. That one easily, de easily dealt with. This one, well, that wasn't far away from cre creeping under the upright. And certainly go for cause for anxiety. It was Megan Lee who popped up at the back post and has given a two goal advantage to the Western Springs with a looping ball back in. And we're going to have a change. It looks like Megan Lee has gone on, done a job. And Sienna Verkotter in a Westlake High School player will go on for this last Sienna bit of extra time. Well, it's all ahead of Coastal Spirit now. As Western Springs have one hand on their finals ticket. Foil to Jane. Isla McPherson has been replaced by Samantha White. No doubt a technical change to get a bit more forward play. And there's Samantha White there in the number nine shirt. Coastal probably going three at the back as they search for a couple of uh, goals to keep them in this. Here's the ball with Nicholson, around one, around Jarvis, but Hill recovering well and providing the defence needed. Nicholson. It's the ball back to White. And Hill again, doing well to deny the cross. Back to Dabner. Across to Firth. Clips it in. But Jervis is there. White. Bump. Not getting her desired result there. Come there. And the ball with Liz Savage. Spells danger for Coastal Spirit. Live, taking on Firth, and Firth having just to resort to out. As they can regroup. Garcia. Just to keep the ball in, and has done so. Winning. Nicholson. Just a late little challenge there. Absolutely no hurry. Yeah. 
for Western Springs to get this one back underway. They'll be absorbing I'm trying to be economical with this. There's foils come out and the ball's going to land. There's an absolute gift for my life just to be denied by. And number 22, my oh, life. Has been given. Well, a little bit of a slip in there by the looks of it as Foyle came and she collected him with Rebecca Wilson you know a bit of a bit of a mix up and fortunately for my life had the simplest of tap-ins to make it 4-1 well you'd have to think that's about it for this game the three substitutions for Western Springs have all contributed a goal. And here's one of them, Liz Savage, who's going to use all her experience against Whitney Hepburn. Damn it. Going to launch and create something. As the clock is the enemy now of Coastal Spirit. Mitchell launches it forward. Well won by Jane. Hepburn. It's a good win, and Ulavili coming through well to dispossess. Now. Yep. Five to go here. And the result seems to be pretty much showing up here by the home side. Some good energy going in here from Rebecca Wilson. Back on the left side. Cameron. Not able to keep it in. Hill. He's worked very well down that uh, right side of this Western Springs defence. The recent goal scorer, my alive, he was unable to cross it, but the ball's in the right part of the park as far as Western Springs are concerned. Hepburn launches forward, win him. It's a ball to Wilson, but Jervis using her wealth of experience. Win him. Firth. Spun well in there from Cameron, but the space wasn't there to use. Win him. Well defended by Garcia, who's dropped back in to do defensive role. Hill. Jane under pressure from Fukarin. Savage delivers. Foil collects and distributes. Well, one and again from Ulavili. Wilson, hopeful ball forward, but easily dealt with by Mitchell. Mm. 
White. Easily cut out and promoted for by Tartimu. Savage on a run. Jane out to meet her. Savage just gave it a go and what a strike. Well, Liz Savage makes it two for her, five for Western Springs. Liz Savage once again floats on over the keeper, surely. And that's the game done. Springs feeling confident from there. Right on the edge of the 18 yard line. Out, there, out and over the outstretched arms of Werner Foyle. And really, just extra half, extra time has been absolutely dominated by this home side who will advance to play Wellington United in the Kate Shepherd Cup Final of 2023. Coastal Spur put up a decent fight here today. Just a few shots does not go in their way. There's Wilson, tries to engineer some late attacking spirit. And Debna will get to take a corner, which resulted in the only goal it's in towards. Where's the ball going? It's with much off the bar and Bit of a clash in there. I don't think any uh, resulting goal. It was floated and right in. Bit of a heat clash in there with Hepburn, who was looking for a second headed corner goal of the game. Another left, there'll be a free kick, and it's Captain Lily Jervis who came to the rescue. She's been putting her body on the line all day, as has Whitney Hepburn. The determination from all these players to get through and put their best out there on display today has been outstanding. Forward, it's launched forward. A wee opportunity again for Western Springs. The quarter in, gets it out to Savage. And well defended from Samantha White. We'll have a corner here for Springs. Oh, no. Tienavur caught her in with the ball. Be just in this to take this. The referee is going to just uh, remind them about keeping the game flowing. And this with the corner. Plenty of green and white shirts in there. Everyone wants to get on the score sheet. White giving chase, putting pressure on. Stewart's up there as well. Chris Jervis gets it forward. Ennis. Here's Savage. No, it was Garcia who the ball fell to. And one of the leading goal scorers of this Western Springs just hasn't been able to find her goal scoring form today. She's worked hard and created lots of opportunities. And here's a little Alyssa Winham to Stewart. Flicks it in the direction of Brittany Nicholson. And it's just been that final ball that's really let down Coastal Spirit here today. Well, the defensive unit's pretty strong here for Western Springs. Well, Garcia can't quite understand why the free kick isn't uh, has gone that way. But here, Dabner 
not getting it to where she wanted it to, and the ball's with Firth. Coastal Spirit throw. Cameron trying to skip through, but once again, Garcia's unable to understand why that free kick's been given by Robinson. But so it is. Firth goes square to win him. As a go from range and Mitchell mopping that one up. Jane on the ball now. Back to Hepburn. Jervis. Just says, let's have the ball back down there. Dabner. Wilson to Stewart. Forward. Nicholson. Nobody continues some forward progress. Swamped it by the determined Western Springs defence. Wynnum spins out of one problem into another one. Dabna across to Firth. Win him. Little interchange with Nicholson and it's fallen. Has a crack and a decent effort that was too. But not on target. Mitchell. Goal kick brings about the full-time whistle from referee Lindsay Robinson to bring this semi-final to an end. 5-1 to Western Springs over Coastal Spirit. Additional time needed to separate these two sides. And it was extra time. It was really owned by the home side. And well, let's have a look at the goals here today. We're opened up. Laura Colpe found Celia Mayer at the far post. So she steered it in past Foyle to get the game scoring it away. It was Dabner's corner that fell to the head of Captain Whitney Hepburn, who bounced it in and over the defence to make it one all. That's the way it stood through to extra time and it was Liz Savage's cross come shot that eluded Una Foyle that broke the deadlock and so another substitution in Megan Lee steered one in floated it across the six yard box and was delighted to see it go in the sides turn there's a bit of a mix up in this penalty box all sorts of shouts for infringement but another one of the substitutes, my life, steered it away. And Liz Savage with a bit of class at the end. Who swung the big right foot of it and got it over in a fall to make it five. The three substitutions for Western Springs, creating four goals that separated these two sides. Well, it'll be. Western Springs versus Wellington United in the Cape Shepherd Cup of 2023. Make sure you uh, mark that one on your calendar and join us for what will no doubt be a tasty fixture. My name's Craig Crawford. It's been great to be able to bring you this game on behalf of New Zealand Football. Good evening.